the football interview room, the place where even experienced pros like Moritz Voltz sometimes fear to tread, especially when Fulham play Arsenal and journalists prepare his least favourite question of all time. So what's it like to play against your old team? What's it like, yes, for the seventh or eighth time in your career and you know for the second time this season what's it like to play against your old team i know it's just you know i guess what else can you talk about you know it's difficult well how about what really goes on behind the scenes something clubs are notoriously reluctant to do football is not like politics where you know you have open debates because that's the best way to reach people if you have disagreements in football, the best way to sort it out is um, in a closed room with all parties involved and no cameras there. Um, and I think that's why players, managers um, and other people involved in football are guarded um, because it's not the right place to confront people. But while Volz appreciates media attention, raises the profile of players and the game, he has reservations about the post-match interview. Mind you, he didn't look too upset when he won a bottle of champagne for scoring the Premiership's 15,000th goal. They told people to text in and, and guess who it would be, and uh, I'm not quite sure if anyone would have backed me. <laughs> no, he objects more to players being asked about wider footballing issues right after a match. Fancy asking, you know, a Liverpool player after a game, well, what he makes of the boardroom melee. It's not for the players to worry about. Uh, we know the manager's gone on record this week uh, saying it's important to focus and, you know, that's what we'll do. Um, we'll let them sort it out themselves. A, I don't think the players actually get involved in it too much. Um, they don't have any power or say anyway. Um, B, a player would not get involved um, and state an opinion on it. Um, and see what's it got to do with having just played a match. Um, so a lot but isn't of the that time. About it's access, not... though, you see, that might be the only chance the journalist has to actually speak to a Liverpool player that season, because they're often, you know, cosseted away by the by the club. Well, you know, I haven't been on the other side yet, so I I can only assume what it's like for you. I guess it's pretty difficult. And he's about to find out. We're sending him to QPR's final home match of the season to do the post-match interviews. What do you expect to get out of it? I don't expect anything apart from maybe a bit of fun and uh, to learn my lesson. <laughs> and to see if he can avoid using one of his other most hated questions. You must be happy with the win. We shall see. Jim Cockin, Sky Sports.